Hey, hey everyone! So we are going over the colors really quick before we jump into the pour. Um, I'm using a mix of Primary Elements, Amsterdam, Golden, Arteza. All my favorites. Please see links below if you guys want to purchase any of the Primary Elements or the Arteza products. I have affiliate links below. Um, I have a code for the primary elements 20 or anything off the color arts website, the bling it's the primary elements, the 20% off use code Erica Hughes, one twenty. This is fantastic color. I love that. Um, first time using the deco art extreme sheen. I, I'm not sure how I feel about in this is the bloom recipe, by the way. I'm not sure how, how I feel about the extreme sheens in the bloom recipe. I'm still playing with that. Um, this is mixed with, the colors are all mixed with three parts untinted base paint, one part of uh, Villaggio polyurethane gloss varnish. Check the description below and I'll link and give you the exact ratios and all that below. There's the consistency of my house paint I'm using as the pillow, which is just my base paint that I'm going to be laying my colors down onto. It's a wall and ceiling semi-gloss house paint. I've added a small bit of water to thin it to the consistency that you saw there. And I have added the paint mixing stick, not the exact one I use, but one like it. Um, for the house paint in my Amazon shop, sh shop, so check that out. They're very handy. When you go and purchase your house paint, make sure they do not mix it in their shaking machine, whatever it's called. Um, way too many air bubbles, so you want to get yourself a good stick or and mix it when you get home. And then ideally you'd want to say maybe pour it into smaller containers and let it sit for a day or two, but usually I just mix it up and then pour. That's probably why sometimes you see measles, the measles as we call them, um, in some of my paintings, because I'm impatient. Um, so I'm gonna speed up the process here. I'm just layering the colors down how I see fit. And we are going to use the hair dryer to blow the cell activator over. And Cell activator I'm using today is greenish blue and titanium white mixed together to give me a um, lighter greenish blue. Um, and then that's mixed with Australian Flood Floetrol. I have, let's see. Oh no, okay, so this that's not the cell activator. There we go. Okay, and I maybe put a little too much, maybe not because I'm happy with the end results and it's drying fantastic. So I'm not even gonna say I put too much cell activator. So with the hair dryer, it's on high right now and I have the, um, holding the cold, um, cold air boost button and you just go straight down from the top from up high and wiggle your wrist around really fast and be quick and then get out of there because otherwise all your colors everything will just mix up and you'll go down to the canvas or um and then it won't come back in the house paint because that's the idea you want the house paint to be a nice thick layer that you're laying your colors over and then makes for much easier tilt. So now you can see I'm going all over the place. I'm trying to get all the paint to move as one and also tilting on rounds is I haven't done it a lot, so it's going to take me some getting used to. I love the greenish blue cell activator. Oh, 
so yeah I'm just kind of I remember thing I just I didn't know how I was gonna which way I was gonna tilt and then I realized you know what we should do negative space on this so I poured off a bunch and then I'm gonna go back and get the other um, edge covered with paint and just make sure you have enough paint tilted off so you get a good dry without any cracking or anything good way to tell if you have enough paint tilted off I've found is just by when you're tilting you can see it's really I mean it's a slow tilt anyways with the thick paint but it really kind of stops the paint stops kind of moving so you're pretty much safe there as far as having enough paint off the canvas because you do not want to leave a bunch on there or you will get cracking you will have a beautiful piece and then you will wake up the next day and you'll have cracking. So we'll be taking you in for a close up and the first one is going to be with my flash off. So you can just see the piece on its own, just how it looks. And then I will turn my lights off and put my flash on for a nice close-up where you can see all the amazing shimmer in my fantastic primary elements and my other metallics as well. I'm sorry I haven't been with you guys lately. I've just, I haven't been really inspired. Um, and I'm just kind of getting back into things. So that happens to me. I kind of go... You know paint 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 and then i just it's been a rough few months for everybody and i wasn't really churning out any good paintings so hopefully i'll get my groove back and tomorrow's video i We'll be using, I believe, the same color palette, but we're going to be using, I think, I believe they call them 3D canvas, where it can stand up. You know, you could just sit it on your mantle or wherever and don't have to hang it, so that's exciting. But yeah, there will be the same colors, I believe. But please don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm almost at 70,000 subscribers. Super excited. Thank you guys so much. Um, check the description box below for links. If you're going to order your primary elements from Color Art or the Bling It, um, I will, will list my code below. It's Erica Hughes 120 And yes, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, I went off over there because I you couldn't really see the shimmer of the paint that was on the side over there. But it was shimmering in my eyes. So just, I, lo I love it. It's so pretty. so pretty. All right, guys, I'm going to get cut off. Thanks for watching. Talk soon. Bye.